Okay, hello here today. This is Luke from Bolt Central and today I'm going to show you a little bit of how to set up your Micron uh, resize die. First of all, what you want to do is take your bushing and make sure that you have it the correct way. Um, for our bushings, you want the lettering as you read it. Slide it in. Then you're going to put your uh, bushing retainer cap on. And when you're generally just starting to set this up, you want to make sure your decapping pin is way up so that you don't bottom it out here in the bottom of the case and put the pin. Okay, now we are ready to uh, check our shoulder bump and get an initial shoulder bump number before we put our die into the press. What you want to do for this is get you a, a shoulder bump gauge and a fired case. And what you're going to do is get yourself a shoulder bump measurement. Uh, watch out for your primer here if you got a dimple on it. Once you are done with that and you have an initial number, you're going to come over here to your press and you're going to thread your die in. Have your ram all the way up so that you know where your shell holder is and you're going to just come until the die touches the shell holder and you're going to back it off about half a turn. Then the next step is you take your case and make sure you have uh, sizing lube on it. What you want to do here is don't go all the way down, but go until you feel the shoulder. So here I didn't feel any shoulder and I went all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go by about a thousandths uh, at a time, which is probably about that much of a turn. I'm going to keep coming down with the die until I feel the shoulder. There, I just started to feel the shoulder. So what I'm gonna do is normally, I run about 2,000 shoulder bump. So what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna go about 2,000, which is probably about there. And I'm gonna size the case. Then I'm gonna bring my rings down. Uh, you can tighten your lock screw in your top ring. And what I'm gonna do is take the case out. I'm gonna come back over to my bump gauge and I'm going to take a measurement and see what, how much I bumped the shoulder. Now this is where you're gonna adjust it to the number that you want. And that's the second part of setting up your die. So our last step in setting up our Micron die is setting up the decapping pin. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a case in. We have the pin up towards the top so it's not shooting from the bottom. I'm gonna put our ram down. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the pin until it hits the primer there, it hit the primer. Then what I'm gonna do, pull my handle up a little bit and I'm gonna go down about a turn. So that wasn't quite enough. Go one more turn until your primer falls out. Once your primer falls out, your pin is set and then once you're done with that, you can just uh, put a little pressure on your decapping pin nut and you're done. Now what we're going to do is set up our Micron Series cedar die. This is a threaded cedar. We're going to thread the cedar in the press here. What you want to do is you take a sized case and you set your ram at the bottom to okay, make sure you're not hitting the shoulder. What you do here is you, you turn the uh, die down until you just feel the shoulder. So you are um, snugged up. And what you do is you take your rings down and you'll bottom your rings out. You got a little pressure on there so you're, you're indexing off the shoulder. Once you're done with that, take your case out. Uh, now your cedar die is ready. So now we're ready to actually get our bolt seating set. What you want to do here first is take a comparator for uh, oops, wrong side. What I'm going to do is lightly put this in here so I'm not forcing it in. And I'm going to get myself a measurement off of... So I'll get myself a measurement. This is 
something I've set up um, prior to this or a load I know. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna place this in show holder. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure I'm way, way up with my setting so that I'm not gonna actually seat this bolt. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come down. Now I have the ram all the way to the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the rings down until the stem has made contact with the top of the bullet, which obviously give it some room there. I'm gonna keep coming down. Okay, now what I've done is I've, I just felt that it, uh, my stem has touched the top of my bullet. So I'll bring the bottom ring up, tighten that. What I'll do then is I would take a new bullet in case and I will seat one bullet. Okay, now that we have seated our bullet, we're gonna take it out. We are gonna compare it to the measurement that we had before or a measurement that we're trying to achieve. So we're gonna get our measurement and then any adjustments we need to make, we're gonna come back up and we are going to turn either if we gotta come up or if we have to come down, we're gonna use the, the numbers and, and the lines and set it to where we need to be.